what is up guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be focusing on the lifted trailblazer i am going to be getting this thing uh, ready for the winter time because snow is going to start falling pretty soon and i just want to get it ready for it to get me through the winter uh, without any issues so here is the turbo trailblazer as you guys can see it's got some must on here but i did spray the frame down with some of that rust-oleum as well to prevent it from rusting anymore but it's still kind of chipping off maybe because i gotta grind the frame down and get some of this flaking rust off but the issue i've been having with this trailblazer lately has been the downpipe and um i had to bang all this so i was trying to bang it bang it but there was hardly any room to bang on this uh to try to mold it to where the downpipe comes down here and goes down here um so i had to use uh this bottle jack so i would put this on the frame here somewhere and use that thing to make it go up and that was working real good so i was just using that to press this firewall in but yeah like i said i was going at it for about three days with this down pipe to fit and yeah it was just a pain it wasn't going in and it was giving me a real hard time so I have some bad news and some good news for this build. So the bad news is uh, that this turbo project is gonna have to wait till the springtime because the snow is gonna start falling anytime soon. And the good news is that I am gonna throw uh, OEM manifolds, like I said, the headers, um, and that's gonna allow me to, you know, turn it on uh, during the winter time, um, drive it, you know, back and forth just to get it moving. Um, and yeah, that should be. Uh, the good news and then the other good news is that i have the lifted trailblazer uh for me to work on and keep me busy during the winter time and the thing about these lifted trucks you really don't need a jack to get under here so that's the good thing so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and get the shield off right now and go ahead and drain the oil right here this plug right here and then get the filter off as well and then throw the new filter on and then just fill it up with oil So I know this audio quality kind of sucks and it's kind of windy out here, but uh, I got the oil filter going in now. It's the CarQuest and this wasn't my choice of filter, but I ended up getting it with the oil deal that was going on at uh, Advanced Auto Parts. So I ended up getting the Valvoline 5W30 and this CarQuest oil filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing in there. I already added some oil in there as well and on top of the gasket on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on there. So I'm gonna end up filling this thing with like six or seven quarts of oil because that's what it takes. And yeah, like I said, I'm running Valvoline, high mileage oil. This showblazer has over 200,000 miles and it is 5W30. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with this five quart and then throw the other two in here. What I'm gonna do is just change the air filter on here. Um, this is the one I got. I ended up getting the Fran filter and then I still have to change the wipers on it and uh, throw some of this windshield washer fluid and we'll go from there. But you guys can see all this sand that was left over from some off-roading that was done by the previous owner and some sand in there as well.
I just got back from the car wash. I ended up spraying the frame down as much as I could um, to remove any grease, oil that was on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get on the truck and just spray it. And this should be the last step to winter proofing my trailblazer for the winter time. I know I'm gonna need more than two cans of that Rust-Oleum spray to undercoat the whole frame. But for now, I'm just gonna see how much those two cans can cover up. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go under the truck and just get that started. I managed to do most of the frame. So this is the driver's side. So this is how the rear is looking. And this is the passenger side. So pretty much that wraps everything um, I did for the Trailblazer to try to winterproof it for this winter coming up. I did the wiper blades, the air filter, the oil change, oil filter, sprayed down the frame. And what I also changed in this Trailblazer was the thermostat wasn't working properly, so I ended up changing that as well. So now it's at about 200, 210 degrees, and now the heater works perfect. So that's gonna do me a lot good for the winter time when it gets here. So heater works um, and everything else I did to it is pretty much gonna save me some time uh, during this winter. But I do have to change the transfer case fluid as well as the differential fluid uh to be 100 percent sure it's gonna get me through the winter time like i said i changed a couple of things to make it easier for me during this winter that way i won't have to be stuck in the winter time when the snow falls and having to do an oil change when the snow is here already so i'm uh, pretty much prepared for the winter to get here and yeah this thing is four by four and it should get me through the winter or any blizzards that come my way in chicago so yeah that pretty much does it for this video guys so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and i'll catch you guys again next time